send these complaints? Six million barrels or less a year? No pork for beer? Traditional ingredients? Butter rice tastes fine to me. Drink it up. 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 People once believed that fizzy yellow beer was all they could drink. And then sometimes, just sometimes, a band of craft brewers comes together to put the wrong beer right, just like a Droid Theory Brewing Company. Virginia is for lovers such as Eric Draven and Shelley Webster, and the Six Most Metal Breweries is here for a brew inspired by the crow. Drink it up! Drink it up! I want you to tell me a story. How did Adroit Theory begin, and what does the name mean? We started in uh, 2014. We grabbed the thesaurus, and my wife was flipping through, found the word Adroit. When she read the definition, it sounded exactly like what a brewer does for a living, which is use his hands or her hands to take very basic ingredients and, and turn them into something magical that we call beer. Tell us what inspired the Crow beer. I am uh, first and foremost a fan of all things Crow related. I, I collected the comic books, uh, love the movies. And I said, wow, this is, this, this is fate. This is the perfect opportunity to meld together you know, this kind of Crow inspired you know, fan homage to the concept. I'll drink to that. Cheers. Cheers, my friend. That's metal. That is good. That is pure pleasure. The pain comes later, I think. <laughs> <laughs> shall we join the release party? We shall. I think I'll use your front door. <laughs> good <laughs> us, good <laughs> us. <laughs> high five, high five. Do you see any connection between craft beer and the crow? There's art there, there's passion there. For these guys to sort of really promote the crow and, and elegy and stuff like that is not surprising. That was an iconic film. I still love the original. Oh yeah, I definitely actually want to go home and watch this movie again for sure. How metal is the droid theory? On a scale of one to metal, they're Metallica. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, their whole aesthetic uh, is definitely geared that way. Their art on their bottles and uh, you know they're always playing uh, metal. If you go around here, you're not going to find anything like it. You'll probably get country music. I want you to tell me a story. 53 years ago, Fritz Maytag purchased Anchor Brewing to continue production of their flagship steam beer, a trademark now owned by the company. What? Listen, I'm sure you'll remember. Jack McCullough found a new Albion in 1976, the first microbrewery since Prohibition. Then homebrewer Ken Grossman launched his style-defining Sierra Nevada Pale Ale in 1980. Kim Jordan brought New Belgium to Colorado in 1991, and while Stone launched generations of hop fanatics from 1996 onward, leading Vinny Chilerzo to create the double IPA at Russian River. Yeah, man, some dude, some chick, whatever. Her name is Natalie Chilerzo. What the fuck? Victims, aren't we all? Not at Adroit Theory Brewing. Believe me, nothing is trivial. Is this a beer for hop heads and metal heads like Eric Draven? It definitely is. I'm telling you, you want a hoppy beer, you want a beer that's going to scream metal, Adroit Theory is where you need to be. 9% ABV of pain, all for you. How do you like it? It's amazing. Uh, when I first tried it, I tasted a lot of fruit going in, and then the hoppy bitterness afterwards. 
It tastes really balanced. Out of the IPAs they have on tap right now, it's my favorite. And, uh, you know, that's that's high praise in itself because they always do good IPAs here. Great beer, a lot of hops in it, very smooth. Is it better than the that they drank in the movie? Oh, shit. I don't even remember them drinking but if they were, shame on them. They should have had elegy. Give it up. Feed the bird. Feed the bird. Feed the bird. I want to invite you all in for a group cheers and a group chant. We are going to drink to Brandon Lee. Drink it up! Drink it up! Drink it up! Drink it up! If the beer we love is stolen from us, the way to have it live on is to never stop supporting your local craft brewery. Buildings burn, people die, but real ale is forever. And remember, it can't rain all the time. <laughs> Thank you.